else here? Anything Basically, else? social networking is all about doing what you would do in a networking environment, but you're doing it online. So you're meeting new people, you're talking about what you do, what they do, you're just sort of getting comfortable creating relationships, creating contacts with people on the internet. Uh, is, is really the best way. It's like going to a cocktail party, but it's, it's online. Lately, Facebook, um, Twitter, even online video have become a great place to meet and learn about people, discuss you know, what they're up to, what their likes and dislikes are, you know, political aspirations, whatever it is. Um, you, can, you can use these, they're all free tools to start you know, meeting new people on the internet. The big one, I think, is, is using these tools like Facebook and Twitter to meet new people on the internet. But the, the beauty about it for realtors is that it's, it's, it's a free program. Both of them are free to get on. It just takes some time. And you can start networking with people from your past um, people that you kind of have somewhat of an acquaintance with, is, and then you know your friends' friends, um, and it's a great way to get out there and, and f you know figure out what's going on in the real estate world and find people that are buying and selling. It's a, it's a great lead generator for them. It's about showing your expertise in whatever it is that you do. So if you're really good at, or maybe you own a bunch of properties yourself, so you're a landlord and you talk about your experiences being a landlord and the problems you've had with renters or where you get renters or what you charge for rent, and you're just sort of you know, creating a community around you. And soon enough, like-minded individuals will start interacting with you, discussing their problems with their you know, renters or where they go or what they charge. And you know, next thing you know, you found a whole bunch of people that are interested in buying property and renting it out and, and you found this great little community that, that's sort of interested in what you do. And it doesn't have to be investment properties, it could be you know, first time buyers, it could be people, you know, older people that, uh, that are moving out of their family houses and their kids are all gone and, and downsizing, it can be you know, whatever. Um, but it's just a way to start, you know, discussion with like-minded people. There's a neat function to it where you can, you, can, you can search Twitter, so you can actually search other people's conversations. You go to search.twitter.com, and you can type in whatever it is that you're interested in. So you can type in Vancouver, and you'll see everybody that's talking about Vancouver. But you can get specific and, you know, search for Carisdale or search for renovations or search for mortgage quotes or whatever it is, and you can actually see what other people are talking about. And you don't even have to be in the conversation. And you can kind of get a feel for who's doing what and what's actually happening in the internet about whatever topic it is that you're looking for.